Hey everybody, it's Chris. Welcome to my channel. I am the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. I like to drink craft beer, I like to review craft beer, and I don't like to pay a whole lot of money doing it. So the beers that I review on this channel usually come in around the $2 price range. And such is the case with today's selection. I paid $1.79 for a 12 ounce bottle. This is the Full Sail Brewings Atomizer Ultrasonic Infused IPA. Atomized hops for ultrasonically tasty beer. There you have it. And <clears throat> this beer does have a 7% uh, percent ABV. Typically, American IPAs come in between 5.5 and 7.5 ABV. It also has 70 IBUs. Typically, American beers, um, excuse me, American IPAs uh, come in between 40 and 70 IBUs. So it's actually on the higher end of the uh, of the bitterness scale. Uh, this is let's see it's it's just it's just under three months old um so you ipa purists who believe that an ipa shouldn't be more than 90 days old well this is well within range guys uh some quick stats on this it does have now i i tried to find out what exactly they did to atomize or ultrasonically infuse these hops there's not really a very good explanation um <clears throat> but just so you know they did use cryo citra mosaic simcoe and you cannot hops. Uh, quick stats on the reviewing community's uh, interpretation or, or uh, reviewing community's uh, feelings about this particular beer. Um, two of my friends on Untapped gave it a cumulative score of 3.63. 2,364 of it came at a cumulative score of 3.75. Beer Advocate has only 16 rankings, but it gives it a cumulative score of 3.83, which on their ranking is very good. So these are all fairly high high scores for this particular beer. Um, it is an IPA, and those who watch this channel regularly will be saying, oh, another IPA. Yes, that's right, another IPA. Uh, once again, IPA is a variety that is getting almost, if there's such a thing as too much press, I would say the IPA is it. Um, but let's see, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what I actually was, um, what I was thinking of was, uh, explaining the history of the IPA, the Anchor Liberty Ale is the first, it is acknowledged as the first IPA made here in America uh, back in 1975. So it's a it's a well-received uh, variety, especially for those of us who like a little bitterness with our beer. Um, prior to the IPA craze, actually the American Pale Ale was the most common beer in craft brewing. But uh, anyway, so there you have all the ins and outs of that. Um, and yeah, if, if anybody knows anybody knows binary, I, I, I get the feeling that's a very strange message right there. Um, but uh, you, you just really can't be sure. So as it's described, sci-fi says for a Wi-Fi world. Oh, there's the kitty. Okay, see a kitty. And uh, hell, I don't see any reason to keep talking. I'm just gonna crack this bad boy open, get to drinking. Saving the caps for my man Kelly. This is a nice big A. Kelly, if you're watching, I don't know what you're doing exactly. He's making some kind of art project with the cap. But anyway, Kelly, if you're watching, there's a, that's, that's just another cap that'll be in the package I'll be sending your way. I'm gonna be using my stone stemmed IPA glass. Uh, I'm a big fan of using proper glassware. Stemmed IPA is a perfect, perfect way to savor your IPA. So this is pouring a, a very golden color, very golden. You're seeing, oh, I'd say at least two shades darker than the actual color of this beer. Um, going to describe that as medium carbonation, neither medium high nor medium low, just medium. The head seems to be eh, pretty sturdy. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of bubbles popping on top. Uh, I'm going to give it a quick beard wipe, see what we come across. And hops is what I come across. Lots and lots of hops. I'm going to stick my schnoz into it, see what uh, we discover. <sighs> Very pineapple-y smelling, a little bit of grapefruit. Uh, those citra and mosaic hops are definitely coming through. Yeah, just lots and lots of citrus, a little sweetness to it, almost like a candied orange. Um, 
I'm finally getting a little bit of maltiness there. I think the sweetness that I'm smelling, I mean, above and beyond the sweet of the citrus, is uh, is maltiness. And I think that that pretty much sums it up. We've got a, a combination of, of, I'd say, pineapple and, and grapefruit uh, smells, are, are scents in the aroma, and uh, a little bit of malty sweetness back behind that. So, let's get to drinking. Cheers. I'm going to describe that as probably a medium-high mouthfeel, kind of spikiness to it. Um, honestly, for 70 IBUs, I was expecting a little bit more bitterness, but it's still not bad. Uh, this is pretty good. Um, here's the thing, because... Well, okay, because there is such a surplus of IPAs on the market, I'm all for them doing something unique and atomizing it or whatever, but if in the end the flavor is nothing extraordinary, you've just added one more pretty good uh, pretty good IPA to the market, and frankly, there's, there's no shortage of, pr of pretty good IPAs on the market. I mean, there's... Lots and lots of them out there right now. There's so many of them that there's lots of good ones. There's lots of so-so ones. There's lots of extraordinary ones. There's lots of bad ones. You name it, because there's just so many of them, and there's so many brewers out there making them. Don't get me wrong. This is a good beer. I like it. But I'm sorry. There, there's... There's dozens and dozens of beers out there that are just as good and taste almost exactly the same. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's an enjoyable beer, and a buck seventy-nine is a nice price to pay for uh, a 12-ounce bottle, but, um, <coughs> you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and I'm give it a, I'll give it a 3.5, um, you know, because it, it is a pretty good beer, but... Sorry, guys, when... Uh, when you do a variety that's just overdone all the time, if you don't make it exceptional, it just becomes uh, almost a footnote in the history of IPAs. So there you have the uh, breakdown on that. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, drink good beer, and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.